welcome back to Peterson Auto. We got more work done on the Turbo Windsor here. You can see the oil pan is mounted. I still need to find two drain plugs for that. That just seems to be a real royal pain right now. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Got the uh, oil filter adapter mounted. Um, and we got new engine mounts also. You can see there's a top end missing. So that means we've done some teardown. Um, you know the new engine mount. Now, this is going to be close, but I think that's going to go underneath the K-member, so hopefully, keep our fingers crossed, that'll fit. If not, I'll have to pull that out and put a 90-degree fitting on to go up this way and into the turbo. I'm not sure. I might do that anyway. But, uh, the cylinders look pretty clean. Uh, they are smothered in PB Blaster right now to prevent any corrosion, and I haven't cleaned them up with more than just a light wire brushing, so they may or may not get cleaned up more. I mean some residue but it, it's not thick enough to actually cause anything it's just carbon build up every engine has that so I, I may go a little uh, more hardcore at this and get this uh, cleaned up better I may not I don't know um, the heads I currently have the heads off they're getting a port and polish job on them they're getting the bolts taken out and uh, maybe we'll show you how to port I'm not that great at it I haven't done it a lot I'm just doing a basic port, so there's a lot better videos out there, honestly. Um, the intakes, uh, the valley, where the intake goes, is kind of cleaned up and ready. You know, I'm going to spray it down one good time with a heavy coating of brake clean when it's upside down to get all the junk out, because it is sitting here open. But, um, you can see all of our lifters are good. They all, uh, none of them are collapsed. They all, you know, hold hydraulics. Um, all the pistons are good, the rotating assembly is good, the bottom end is tight. It is good. It's a low mile engine, so it's exactly what we wanted for this. Same thing over here. You know, a little dirty still, but I haven't done a final cleanup. Um, we also got a ton of parts, and a ton of parts, I mean a literal ton of parts. So if we get over here, we can see, um, yes, I know, it's severely organized. There's a Phytec EFI kit there in the black box. Uh, that's a 30003, which is a 400 horsepower um, boost compatible kit. So if I run 14 pounds of boost, they'll be a little over that. Probably going to keep it at 68 for a while and just have some fun with it. Um, obviously, there'll be a turbo upgrade and I'll probably go Holly at one point down the road. These things have a pretty decent resale value, it seems. And below that, now we have the fuel system. We have a Luck flywheel, basically a factory flywheel. And hiding at the very bottom in that gap somewhere is a spec stage three clutch and pressure plate setup. So the stage three will hold that horsepower without any issues, I hope. We'll find out. These are gonna be the blow off valve and the wastegate. Nice shiny bottom of the barrel eBay aluminum crap. Actually, it's Amazon aluminum crap, so it's a little better than eBay aluminum crap because I've been mad at eBay, but we'll get a video of welding those on. They look cool. One's going to be a wastegate, one's going to be a blow-off valve. They're both the same part number. How do you do that? Well, check out for another video uh, once this thing's going together. Now, I'll show you how to do that, actually. It's not that hard, and I'm kind of happy that I figured out how to do that because blow-off valve market seems to be two three hundred dollars for a blow-off valve that's going to do the same thing as a wastegate it's the same legit part so I don't know why um well did that flex pipe on so once I get the heads back I can mock the turbo plumbing back up and uh, connect the rest of the exhaust plumbing that'll be a fun one we got uh, more parts over here um well, actually we have a distributor and a coil here it's a PC 8000 series distributor uh, it does not fit, and I'm currently chatting with Summit about that, because um, if you look over here at the intake, it hits right here in the intake. I actually went and put the uh, stock EFI intake on, and, well, it also hits. So, Summit, come on through and tell me what's going on. Got the valve covers, yeah, whatever. We've seen those 50 times. Um, we meander over to this pile. We have some oil hose, we have a carb hat and a gasket. We have our throttle cable. We have our head bolts. 
Oh, head studs from Speedmaster. We'll see if those are any good because uh, ARP is expensive. So we saved some money there. We'll see if that actually pays off in the long run. Pressure plate bolts, intake bolts. I think there's a thermostat in there. Yep, there's a thermostat in there. Ford Motocraft thermostat. Um, and a V-band for the V-band flange on the turbo. So, you know, we're getting to the point where we're very soon going to be slapping this thing back together and running with it. I just want to give you guys a quick update, see all the parts. So we're going to get the engine fully together, including part of the Phytech kit on, um, and then go from there. So it's going to be ready to drop in and go. That's our plan. That's how it's going to work. And if it doesn't, well, we'll adjust accordingly, I guess. So... Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Peterson Auto. And keep watching for more uh, updates on this Turbo Windsor Mustang build.